whoa, Scotty forgot to do the competition draw for the Friends television series, Good Times Glass Mug and Hot Chocolate Bombay set uh, with mellow pieces inside. Um, here is the competition question. This is the way it's going to work. Um, my favorite two cakes in the world are uh, Victoria Sponge and Banoffee uh, Pie, but still a cake. Can you tell me, to be entered into the draw with a chance to win this uh, Friends television series glass mug uh, set, can you tell me which of those two th uh, uh, cakes are my favorite? Is it the Victoria Sponge or the Banoffee Pie? And if you guess right, you will be entered onto the wheel uh, to win one of these. And by the way, I've bought a stack of these. Um, I think these are uh, just lovely little sets. Um, great uh, fan of the TV series. So good luck to all of you taking part. Um, sorry that I uh, finished the video and forgot to do the, the draw, but hey, I'm human. I've got a bit of a cold and uh, a sore throat, and I really appreciate all of you. Thank you very much. Much love to all of you. Bye. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's great to be back. And if I sound a bit rough on the video today, it is because I am absolutely dosed with the cold. I have a sore throat. So it'll be interesting to see how I get through this video uh, today. Coming up on the video today, I want to talk about uh, Secret Scratcher, my uh, fellow YouTuber. Uh, a new section on the channel called Silly Comment of the Week. And I have some contenders for that and a new channel mug to go along with it. More about that later on. We also have some competition draws that we need to, uh, to clear up and I wanna give some prizes away. And I'm also gonna run a competition on today's video as well. Now, um, I also, if you are interested in your smaller YouTuber, I wanna talk about uh, some tips uh, that I'm gonna be covering at the end of the video. Uh, I also got some mail in this week. Uh, I want to touch on that. Uh, asking me, you know, how I play the lottery for, on camera versus off camera. Great question. Um, and I was also asked what no lottery numbers I play when I'm playing the, uh, the UK lottery draws. Uh, more on that as well. So a lot coming up on the channel today. These are our tickets. I'm going to scratch some bonus tickets as well because in the post this week, uh, or a couple of weeks ago, I should say, um, I received these two £1 tickets. These were uh, my winning tickets on another Scratch Cars channel, George Grimwood. Um, great YouTuber. Love the guy. I'm going to put the link of his channel in the description below if you want to go check that out. Um, and... He sent these, I won these in a competition, so I'm going to scratch them, you never know. Um, two £1 tickets, never write them off. Let's take a look at today's tickets then. These are the Sapphire Multiplier tickets. So I'm going to just bring the this camera right in here because we don't need the advertising gumph on the, on the ticket. Let's have a closer look at it. The premise of this game, it's a £3 UK National Lottery scratch card and Basically, if we refine one diamond here, we win uh, three pounds. If we uh, find two, we win five. Three, we win six. And four, we win ten. It's also a match of numbers game. So if we refill some numbers here and match them here, then we win whatever uh, prize is under that matching number. There's also a 3x and a 5x uh, section on the ticket. So if you happen to find 3x, then it's three times that prize amount. 5x, 5 times. And the odds on the ticket uh, are 1 in 3.64. No idea how these tickets are going to play because I haven't even played this ticket. I don't believe I've played this ticket off camera. Uh, I have played some of the other new tickets. And by the way, if you're a smaller YouTuber, somebody asked me in the last couple of days, I said, look, Scotty, why have you not played any of the new tickets uh, on camera? The rest of your YouTube colleagues have been banging videos out with the new tickets. Well, um, more about that a little later on and why I haven't played them just yet. Let's see how the ticket first ticket uh, plays. Okay, let's see what our numbers are. First number, 21, key to the door, 26. And you notice how it's come up in blue. So 
blue. It basically is saying winning numbers anyway, and, and if they are blue, you double the price. So, a lot going on with this ticket. And a four. So those are our numbers out of the gate. Let's just clean that off and have a look. See whether we can match any of the numbers. We got 22. 28, one off the 22 off the 21, 17. We have matched the number. Wow, right off out of the gate, we have found a matching number. I'll take that. 35, one off the 36. We have 14. 58. We have 8. And we have 24. No, 24. And 54. If you're new here to my channel, thank you for uh, tuning in today. I really appreciate it. Hope you like the content. 37 off the 36. And if you do, hit the thumbs up on the video. It helps the channel grow. And maybe consider subscribing and joining my YouTube family here, which is growing exponentially. Um, we are just about to hit uh, 20,000. Uh, subscribers on the channel I, I am absolutely just blown away by that now let's have a look we'll just mark that and come back to that a little later on this is looking good Um, good start on a new ticket okay let's see how we do on the next one I just threw the coin down and <laughs> couldn't find it <laughs> so a uh, big shout out to you yes before I scratch this next ticket, I wanted to shout out to uh, my good friend, Secret Scratcher. I was saying right at the start of the video, Secret Scratcher has been on YouTube for longer than I can remember. And he just took his channel down and deleted it. Uh, the guy had over 35,000 subscribers on, on YouTube. And the chief reason for me being a YouTuber and actually set up this channel was two things. One, it was the fact that during lockdown, um, I set up the channel uh, for mental health reasons um, to give myself something to do rather than just sitting around because you can only watch so much Netflix, Sky, BT, Virgin, whatever and uh, none of them are subscribing to this video by the way um, and you can really do so much of that so I watched Secret Scratcher on YouTube for an awful long time and I emailed him um, when I set the channel up just to say look um, do you mind if I use a channel coin, your channel coin, uh, for scratching the ticket? And this was the, the coin. It's Donkey Kong. Um, it's a Super Mario coin. And I said, I love the coin. And he sent me the most beautiful email back. So, um, uh, so helpful this guy it is unbelievable but he sent me a lovely email back and he says look I really do wish you uh, good luck uh, with the channel and I've been following him for a long time before I set the channel up now he took the channel down in the last couple of weeks and he, this is uh, the chief reason because he was finding it hard to continue to grow his channel organically and that is without cheating without buying uh subscribers and views um yeah bad subscribers and views now i look at some smaller youtube channels at the moment who have less than a thousand subscribers and are in this niche and are coming up with 10 12 15 thousand views on a video um week after week but they're not putting on any new subscribers and those are just some of the reasons why uh secret is no longer uh on youtube because he could not compete honest guy doing it the the way i do it and the way most youtubers do it but the cheats uh bucking the system um are gonna eventually i think bring this niche uh down completely where there will be no uh scratch card channels so here's my message to the the ones that are bucking the system when a guy of secret scratchers elk a guy of his standing, his amazing entertainment value, has to take his channel down 
because of uh, some of you uh, naughty individuals that are cheating, I just say shame on you and a plague in all your houses uh, if you're cheating. You cannot grow a YouTube channel without hard work, dedication and entertainment value. It is simple uh, as that. Secret, if you happen to watch this video back, my love and uh, respect uh, uh, for you, my friend, is absolutely immense. Great YouTuber. Um, gonna be missed. Okay, second ticket, let's we go. 19, oh, the naughty number is 19. Why'd I say 19 is the naughty number? Because I've had more losing tickets with the number 19 on that ticket than any other ticket I've scratched. Here we go. We have it. 21 again. 16. We have two. Doesn't match anything on the ticket. 24. 13. All lucky for some. 7. We have 33. And 33 is what I call the obligatory number. If you look right across most of the scratch cards you will ever scratch on a UK lottery, it is rare not to have 33 turn up on a ticket, especially the five pound tickets. Oh, here we go. And talking to Secret Scratcher, this was his lucky number, 32. 52. And no match. Here we go, last scratch, last match. Are we gonna match something on the ticket? We get 36. No diamonds on the ticket. Uh, so that is that. That's the way it goes. One winning ticket. One losing ticket. So losers to the left. The winners to the right. Down to the last of these tickets. Um, let's have a look and see. I'm going to do the draw in a little second or two. Um, by the way, um, at the start of the video, I said to you that I was going to be giving one of these friends... Let's see if I can just zoom that right out. Um, I get the rest of my table in, but hey, I'm going to be giving this away on this video. But I'm also going to be giving away uh, on future videos a stack of these. I bought 30 of these. Uh, these would be great uh, stocking fillers for, fillers for the, later in the year for a certain time of the year that has jingle bells in it. I'm not going to use uh the c word but if you would be interested in winning those join the channel and uh, hit the subscribe button i'm going to be giving a stack of those away and i have also got some cracking doctor who merch that i've purchased this week um, i'm going to be giving that away as well on the channel so let's have a look here is the last uh, of these tickets but i'm going to scratch some additional tickets by the way so hang around for that as well we have 14 we have 22, we have 11, we have 28, 53 doesn't match, 37, 56 doesn't match, we have a 29, one off the 28, not even uh, a win there, 24, 34, no match, 36, 55, Zero one fifty eight twenty one one off the twenty two last scratch last match on this ticket are we going to match it? Um, we found fifty two doesn't cut it, but that's okay. So two losing tickets and one winning ticket on this session, and um, we'll reveal what the win is in a little moment. Let's do the competition draws well. Uh, I am here. Let's get this up. Okay, silly comment of the week. <coughs> this is the design um, for my new uh, channel mug uh, for a new section on the on the channel. Um, let's just have a look at something here. On my channel, I have the following uh, channel mugs. I have Scratch Cards with Scotty on YouTube. This mug. I also have, uh, for my other channel, Bingo with Scotty on YouTube. Um, and my other channel to help smaller YouTubers, which I haven't put any content up on, and I'm still debating on what to do with that. Um, this is Ask Scotty How to Grow on YouTube. 
but I haven't looked for it anyway. But I've created a new section on the channel called Silly Comment of the Week. Let me know in the comment section what you think of this new channel mug. The idea behind this is, by the way, um, and it came from a lot of YouTubers know you get sort of keyboard warrior um, kind of comments in the comment section. Um, I just uh, generally acknowledge them with a little thumbs up um, that I've seen the comment and move on to the next comment, right? But I also get silly comments, which are funny, that come in. Like the one that came in from, uh, let's see if I can find this silly comment of the week. Okay, I got uh, a comment in from Joe Pettigrew for uh, one of the uh, the song competition competition uh, entry comments. And um, instead of putting either one of the two choices, he put in the Wombles. Okay, now, if you're certain age, you'll know who the Wombles are, uh, and we are of that certain age. Then we had one from David Prentice, who happened to say, send me in an email this week, said, Scotty, your new uh, t-shirt merchandise is crap. Thank you, David Prentice, for that comment. You are going on silly comment of the, the week. That's a keyboard war warrior comment. Um, then we had uh, Nurse Ratchet Johnson um, to one of the, the, the music competition uh, comments. She put something in totally different, and that was funny. So those are just four contenders. And by the way, talking of t-shirts, I'll come back to that a little later on uh, in terms of uh, t-shirts. Okay, let's tell, uh, come out of that. We'll just save that for the time being. We're gonna come out of that and uh, draw some competitions. Now, I feel good. Well, I don't feel good. And then I'm just gonna skip that uh, uh, what do you call it by the advertising come out of that and then come back up with a sound um, That's the problem with these free apps when you use them. I'm going to do the monthly draw uh, For my memberships last but let's take a look at some of these um, uh, These other uh, videos, okay, the Florida video was the last video that I uh, put up So I'm gonna make a wee note of that um, and draw that competition now um Okay, Florida, uh, the next one was a 75 million spectacular, and just making a wee note. And I spanked the lottery, uh, was the other competition that needs to be drawn today. I spanked the lottery and I liked it, or they liked it. Um, let's have a look. And then the 25 pound draw. Um, okay, so just making a wee note of that. Okay, so let's look at the the, the fun meal. Um, this video, uh, this competition was for the Florida USA uh, fun meal that came in from our good friends uh, in Florida, Scratching and Harmony, and uh, great guys. And by the way, um, Corey, I have sent one of these in the post to you as a gift for one of your uh, kids it does all things sort of TikTok. Um, this is going to you, my friend, uh, along with your, uh, your, your tickets being returned. So let's take a look. This here uh, is a Choice of Channel mug. Now, the Choice of Channel mugs are Bingo with Scotty, Scratch Cards with Scotty, and Ask Scotty how to grow on YouTube. The silly comment of the week is, that mug is purely for silly comment of the week. So. Here we go, without further ado, let's see who won this competition. Fingers crossed if you have taken part in this competition. I don't have a lot of people that comment on, on this particular uh, video, which is a shame, but that's the way it is. Here we go. Come on, who's the winner? Who's the winner? Unbelievable, Ian Adams. You are the winner of a Choice of Channel mug, and Ian won a Choice of Channel mug uh, some weeks ago. We had a bit of trouble getting that to him in the post. Um, more about that on another video. But um, Ian Adams, you have won yourself a Choice of Channel mug. Congratulations. That's the first of these competitions drawn. Uh, <laughs> 
I stole it again. Okay, so let's skip that video and go to the next one. This is the 75 million spectacular video. Um, we, again, it's a choice of channel mug, one of three, bingo, scratch cards with Scotty and ask Scotty how to grow on YouTube. So good luck to all the participants. Let's go spin the wheel. And... Harper Tom Scratch Cards, you have won yourself a uh, channel mug. Congratulations. I spanked the lottery. Or that wasn't that. That was the 75 million. Uh, spectacular. Uh, Carper Tom, let me know which uh, mug it is you would like. Going to move this, turn the volume down again, come out of that, go into the I spanked the lottery and see get the volume up on this one okay now get out of that all these odds um okay now this is for the system the shotgun grip uh recording uh phone grip and tripod system this is going to go out to some uh lucky winner this is sensational and as i have said in previous videos i'm using this uh on my videos uh, to test just how good it is or how reliable it is. So here we go. Let's see how we do. Good luck everybody that took part. There you go, Charlene Small, you are the winner of this competition for I Spanked the Lottery and I liked it. So congratulations. Um, Charlene is one of my paid members. Charlene, thank you for supporting the channel financially. Um, if you'd like to do that, um, membership start at £1.99 a month. Um, and it definitely helps uh, the, the amount of giveaways that I can do on the, the, the channel. So I'm going to come out of that. Got another ad coming up. Now, let's see if we can get out of this here ad and do the last of these okay on my channel these are my paid members on the channel and i have uh quite a few the channel is growing exponentially and it is wonderful thank you to all of you who uh have joined the memberships on the channel my channel by the way as i record this video uh today has just hit nineteen thousand three hundred plus uh, subscribers we're well on the way to uh, 20,000 and I really appreciate uh, appreciate all of you have hit that subscribe button over the last few years because if you'd have said at the start of when I set this channel on up would I ever see that figure I wouldn't have believed it I just wouldn't have believed it so this draw is for paid memberships only and I give away £25 every month just as a thank you from me to all of you who are paid memberships on the channel. I want to give you something back for doing that. Now, let's have a look and see. Um, here we go. Let's just do it. Let's see. Last month, by the way, I gave away... I spun the wheel three times. I gave away £75 last month. In, um, so three lots of 25. This takes it to 100 in just two months. So if there was ever a good reason to join the channel, um, that, that would be it. Now, let's spin the wheel. Good luck, everybody. Here we go. Spin the wheel. Come on. Congratulations. Kathleen Flanagan, you have won this month's uh, £25. Oh, I'm absolutely delighted. Kathleen Flanagan uh, is a nurse, um, like my good friend, uh, Linda, uh, Nurse Ratchet Johnson. Um, now, nurses are getting it very hard at the minute and uh, working really really hard although most people think the pandemic is over they still have a lot of patients coming in with and uh, dealing with covid and various other things and um, so i have a lot of respect for our nurses our porters our uh, ambulance workers anybody doctors junior doctors uh, working in hospitals at the moment 
uh, much love to all of you my uh, my respect for uh, all of you as I meant now because I like giving things away on the channel I'm going to spin this wheel one more time and give another £25 away and because um, I'm just, uh, just because I can and I want to do it let's uh, spin the wheel again and give another £25 away on this channel let's see who is going to win here we go Carl Williams absolutely fantastic Carl Williams has supported my channel from the get-go from the minute I set it up <coughs> forgive me for coughing I'm gonna just <coughs> <coughs> a toad up, sore throat, and a cold. Mm -hmm. Just taking a little drink there. Okay, so on this month, I've just given away £50. Last month, £75. So congratulations, Carl Williams. You have also won £25. So that's 50 uh, this month and 75 last month. That's 100 and if my mouth serves me right, that's £125 just in the last two months on the channel. Now, hold on a click out of that. Hi, I'm on zero. They never made a high on your advertising. You're not paying me to advertise. Okay, uh, I spanked the silly comment of the week. Okay, here's the thing. Silly comment of the week. This is how this is gonna run. These are the names that are on it at the moment. Now, this channel mug, if you want to begin with a chance of winning silly comment of the week, you, on any new video from this video onwards, if you start your comment with silly comment of the week and then put your silly comment in the comment section, you will automatically be entered onto the wheel uh, for one of these channel mugs. It's just to have a bit of fun. Now, the I'll tell you who, who's getting the first one, by the way, absolutely free. And I'm sending that this is the prototype, the first one ever printed. This is going out to Alexandria Ritchie because during the pandemic, uh, when I was struggling really, really bad uh, and was quite ill, um, Alexandria Ritchie would send me a little meme or WhatsApp funny message every day of the week for months. Uh, just to keep my spirits up. She's one of those unsung heroes. Wouldn't tell anybody that she's done that. I didn't tell anybody that she did, uh, was doing that. But she did do it and still does it, even to this day. So, much love to you, Alexandria. This mug is yours. It's the first one ever printed. And it's going to you. You don't even have to enter this competition. You're getting one absolutely free. Thank you. So, all you do to be on the wheel is even if you're entering today's competition and you want to enter silly comment of the week, put it as a separate comment and put your silly comment in. And if it's funny, um, I'll add you on the wheel for the next uh, draw. So, that's all of that. I know it's a long video today. I don't care because we're giving away money, we're giving away prizes. Um, let's deal with uh, our competition today, which is the, the Friends giveaway. Um, and let's give you the comment that I want um, for that. These are uh, my notes. Okay, this is all things Friends, as I covered at the start of the video. It's a glass mug and boom set. Chocolate, hot chocolate boom set with mallows inside. Fabulous. So... To be in with a chance to win this, I um, I'm trying to think what the competition. Yes, I like two particular dessert pies: apple pie and banoffee pie. Okay, so the banoffee pie or apple pie. To go on the way, I want you to guess. You have a fifty-fifty chance to guess which of those two pies, dessert pies, are my favourite. If you guess right, you will go on the way of the wheel and be in with a chance of winning one of these. And I have bought a stack of these. So if you would like to win one, I think this is absolutely fabulous. 
just enter the competition, hit the thumbs up on the video, remember to do that. Uh, and always watch the videos all the way through. Uh, those of you who do, I really appreciate it. Okay, I said I had some additional tickets and I would some tips for other YouTubers. Um, these tickets come in from uh, George Grimwood uh, and, his, and I won on his live stream recently. He sent them in the post. Thank you, George. Let's scratch these tickets because you never know. Basically, it's a new game, uh, one pound game. Two ways to win, it says. Find a seven uh, to win a pound. Find two to win two pound. Or th I think it is match. Is it? Match three identical amounts. Let's get that really. Actually, none of that around nonsense. Okay, so 40,000. By the way, if 40,000, or sorry, 40 pounds, if 40,000 come up on uh, this ticket three times, George, I would split the money right down the middle with you, my friend. Okay, so we have 7,000. We have two of those. We have two of the pounds. We have a five. We have a 200. We have another 200 and we have a 10. So no win, didn't find a seven on that ticket, but that's okay. We're playing for fun. Remember, we've still got to reveal the winning, uh, the winning ticket. Um, what's on the winning ticket from earlier? Here is the lucky roll ticket. Let's see, basically, uh, match two identical dice to win the prize or match two doubles to win the prize. That's it. Look, uh, lovely looking ticket. We have a six, now I need another one. We get a four. We get a double. Do we get another one? Come on, we do. George Grimwood, you are a star. George sent us a winning ticket in the piggy post. Absolutely sensational. Here we go. We have a two. We have a one and this ticket's sliding about all over the place. We have a one. Are we going to get another one? Uh, no. So we have a doubler. Here we go. What do we win? We got ourselves a pound. So that is two pounds. That's the value of the tickets that were sent. George, thank you very much for this. Um, I'm going to add this winning ticket of two pounds into a batch of tickets. Um, uh, this is, uh, uh, right, I mean, you have the batch of tickets out. I have been keeping all my winning tickets, okay? Like this one, okay? In fact, just bear with me because I'm just gonna go get the ticket um, and I'll just do this as I'm shooting the video and I don't care um, because it's really important. Um, Okay, here we go. Just moving the lighting around. Okay, so 31 minutes this video is long. I don't care. I really do not care. We'll reveal the winning, uh, the wins on, on that actually now. And then let's see what it is or win. Uh, let's just take that out a little bit. Here we go. I think it was 21, wasn't it? So we spent nine. We, what did we find? No way. Did we win 12 pounds? That's 21 and 21. 20, 12 pounds on the ticket. Oh my God. We got ourselves a little mini boomer uh, of 12 pounds on this ticket. I cannot believe that. I am absolutely stunned at that. 12 pounds on 21. Okay, 12 it is. Now, the, tell you where this ticket is going. Okay, now, let's have a look. In here, uh, I have a stack. Let's just bring that right out because you need to see this. I have a stack of winning tickets. Five, 20, 20. There's 50 there. Um, there is 10. There, the, I think, uh, these are five, that's a 10 ticket, that's a five ticket. All these winning tickets, loads of them. I have been saving these winning tickets. This one, one of these tickets is for 20, and one of them is for five, 10, seven, a whole stack of winning tickets. 
This 12 pounds is going into that stack of winning tickets. The winning ticket from George, that is two pounds, is going into that stack of tickets. Two of my lucky members this year are going to be drawn, their names are going to be drawn, and I'm going to get split the value of all the winning tickets. And I can tell you it's well over £300 at this stage of these winning tickets. I'll cash the tickets in and um, split the money be between two paid memberships. Um, so look out for that. I'm not going to say when that draw is going to be done, but there will be a cut-off per period. So if you haven't joined the memberships uh, by a certain uh, period this year, you will not be able to. If you join the memberships after that cut-off period, you won't be able to enter this draw. So, more winning tickets. I am absolutely stoked about the session today. I hope you are as well. Um, now, I said I would leave some stuff to the end for uh, smaller YouTubers, okay? Because I get stuff in a post all the time. Now, some of the questions I, uh, I get is, Scotty, um, how do I... Uh, grow my YouTube channel when, um, how do I grow my YouTube channel when I think YouTube hates me, the algorithm hates me, um, I can't grow my channel and um, I, I, I'm struggling just to get over a thousand subscribers on uh, on my, my uh, channel. Well, I've gone and looked, the person that sent me the email in regarding this wants to remain anonymous and I'm okay with that. I've gone and taken a look at your channel, and here's my feedback. Titles. Um, the titles need to have something that relates to what's going on in the video. If it's a scratch cards video, then the name of the ticket, you got to uh, say scratch cards in the title. Thumbnail. Lack of thumbnails on the video, or thumbnails that just don't make sense, or have bear no relation to the content that you're putting out. Um, I see, I looked at six channels in our niche that really should have more subscribers because they've been on YouTube for a lot longer than me. Um, and I spent a bit of time, serious time, analyzing those six channels. And I know that if they were in my YouTube training program, which is the tier three of my memberships, those channels would have reached, um, if they'd been on the uh uh, on that training program when I started it, they would have been monetized at this stage or uh, doing exceedingly better than what they are. YouTube doesn't hate you, by the way. It doesn't hate me. It doesn't hate any YouTube channel. You, our job as YouTubers is to entertain, okay? If we put the right content out with the right thumbnail, with the right titles, with the right descriptions, and uh, put t uh, stuff out there that the public find engaging, and we put the right information on the video so that YouTube know who to send the video out to because the algorithm is a, essentially a computer and it's reading all the information that you give it and then sends it out to a, an audience. And they test it on that audience and if it does well, then they'll test it uh, with a, uh, another section of that audience and it'll keep going and keep going. That's why some videos go viral um, because a uh, particular video is picked up and everybody wants to uh, watch that particular video. Now, here's some advice. This is free advice. Would I put two videos out on my channel in one day, within an hour, two hours of each other? Would I hack? Because the, you've just sent a video, the first video out. You're telling the YouTube algorithm, this is the video, go promote it. Then you stick another video out and you tell the YouTube algorithm, look, to hell with that video. Promote this one instead. This this is now taking precedence. Um, I look at the titles on some of the videos. Uh, boring titles. Lack of enthusiasm on the actual video. E egotistical content. Now, what is egotistical content? Egotistical content, my friends, is content which is designed that you're pitching it uh, towards other YouTubers in your niche. Other YouTubers in your niche do not grow your YouTube channel. It's great to have them in the comments and it's great to, to turn up and say hello. But you should be pitching your YouTube content out 
to the general public um, and aiming that uh, at a wider audience. Um, what else? Lack of engagement on the, uh, the videos, lack of uh, engagement in the comments with your audience. I have people that message me in the comments. A uh, classical example, Linda Johnson, uh, or, or as I call her, AKA Nurse Ratchet. Um, I chat away to my uh, membership uh, or, or my non-members, anybody that comes into the comments. I answer every single comment that is possible for me uh, to answer. I see a lack of engagement uh, with smaller YouTubers, with their audience. Um, they see this thing of, oh, I got an email uh, message the other week, oh, Scotty, you're about to hit 20K on, on YouTube. And I'm going, yep, okay, that's uh, that's possible. Um, but they look at the subscriber number as just that, as a number. It's not a number, it's people. It's people who, is, who decide to watch or not watch the content and decide to subscribe or not subscribe. And I think smaller YouTubers my advice to you would be to pay attention and every time you shoot a video, think about the person who's tapping on their mobile phone, on their tablet or on their TV to watch your content, pitch your content to entertain them uh, and no one else, them. Now, the lack of awareness for, uh, from smaller YouTubers on how to use the YouTube analy uh, analytics, the, uh, us YouTubers have a, a separate app gives us a load of information about what we do are doing well and what we're doing rubbish at. And we do rubbish sometimes, um, but that's just the way it is. So, in front of my, uh, my camera's up here, and in front of me here, I have a bullet point note uh, script of things that I need to cover on this video. It's in front of me here. If you're a smaller YouTuber and you're not doing that on every video, ask yourself then, why not? Training, we talked about that. I set up a training uh, department and, and most of my trainees that I have on this channel are not in the scratch cards niche. And that tells me that most of the people in my niche think they don't need to take any kind of, uh, of training. And the audience, uh, this part of this video is for YouTubers, not for just my general audience but those of you who are watching and have stayed with me at this stage thank you even if you're not a youtuber but um if you're not take, doing any kind of research um i would say you're not serious about, about growing if you're not watching the likes of nick nimmin um who uh teaches people all things uh, about all things youtube then you're not serious about growing in my opinion if you're not watching David uh, Batal or Sean Canal or Brian G. Johnson, uh, these guys, I'm going to put the links to their channels in the description uh, below. If you're not watching these guys and doing research, then in my opinion, and forget, uh, forget the spelling on this because I just scribbled these notes down. Um, if you're not watching these guys on YouTube, in my opinion, you're not serious about growing a YouTube channel. So if you want to grow, um, I would say stop moaning uh, and blaming it on YouTube or uh, blaming it on anybody else. Do something about it. And if you want, seriously want to do something about it and you want help, join my YouTube training program and I will help you uh, get to the, the point of uh, monetization uh, if you're not there already. Another thing I saw this week, um, and here's a tip. The lovely uh, Madge uh, at Scratch Card Lady had an absolute uh, cracking session on a, on a ticket this week. Okay, absolutely love her channel. Um, if, this is my advice, and you don't have to take it, but if you get a video like that, and it's getting a lot of views, um, and you've just hit a boomer, and, and anything over 50 pounds on a UK Scratch Card is a boom ticket. It's not like the American tickets. Boomers, there are five hundred dollars, a thousand, so on and so forth. But Mad's got a cracking winning ticket this week. If you get a video like that and you get a load of, you're getting a load of views on it. I would not put the next video out the next day. I would probably leave that video for my audience 
for, uh, and for the wider YouTube audience, probably for three or four days before I put the next video out. Because if you leave it for longer, uh, uh, but a lot of other people are going to click on that video because it is a booming session, and you are more likely to not only get more views, but you're more likely to get more people joining your channel, subscribing to your channel. Okay, that's my advice. So. Um, those are just some of the, the things that I wanted to cover. Thank you for tuning in uh, to the channel uh, today. It is a long one. It's the longest one I've done for a long time. This was our winning ticket. We won £12 today on the on this session. Remember the competition uh, for the Boom Bay um, Chocolate Boom Friends uh, mug set. Um, good luck to everybody taking part in that. Much love to all of you. Be kind to each other. Be kind to yourselves. And again, my utmost respect for Secret Scratcher. I miss you, big lad. You are a star. You'll always be a star. Um, see you all soon. Bye.